welcome to my youtube channel so for this video i'm going to make this pocket hat i hope you enjoy this video chain 4 slip stitch to the first chain then chain 2 does not count as double crochet then make 12 double crochet in the middle of the chain 4 Okay, now we're at row 2. Uh, we have to make uh, 2 double crochet in each 12, 12 stitches and you will have uh, 24 stitches in total. At row 3, we have to make one double crochet, then one increase all around, uh, and we will have a total of 36 stitches in this row. Okay, now we're at our uh, row 4. We have to make 2 double crochet and 1 increase. Okay, so for this row, we will have a total of 48 stitches. Okay, now at row 5, we have to make 3 double crochet, then 1 increase, and we will have a total of 60 stitches for this row. Okay, now, uh, now we're at 
we're at row 6. For this row, we'll have to make 4 double crochet, then 1 increase all around, then we will have a total of 72 stitches. Okay, now we're at row 7. For this row, we're going to make 5 double crochet and 1 increase and we will have a total of 84 stitches on this round. Now we're at row 8. For this row, we have to make 6 double crochet, then one, uh, then 1 increase. And for this round or row, we will have a total of 96 stitches. And for this one, we should have a 7 inches size for our crown. So now I have a total of 7 inches so it will always depends on you if you want to, to add more or less. Then now we're going to slip stitch, back loop only, then make a single crochet all around, back loop only. And for this round, we will have a total of 96 stitches. Now we're at row 10, slip stitch on the first stitch, then chain 5, count as 1 double crochet plus chain 2. Then skip 2 stitches, then 1 double crochet on the third stitch. Then you have to chain 2 again, then skip 2 stitches, then 1 double crochet. So for this round, we will have a 96 stitches in total, including the uh, chain that we made.
going to slip stitch slip stitch in the chain 3 Okay, for this one we have to use our second color uh, and we have to chain 96 same as our previous uh, round Okay, now we have to insert our chain that we made into the loop. And make sure it's not twisted. The V should be facing you. So now we're going to connect these two together. To do that, slip stitch on the first chain, then chain 5, count as 1 double crochet plus chain 2. Then skip 2 chain. Then make one double crochet backward. As you can see, you have to alternate backward and front for this round. And for this round we will have a total of 96 stitches.
so we have to slip stitch on the third chain okay so now we're at row 12 using our main color which is the blue dark blue chain 5 count as one double crochet plus chain 2 so always make sure when, whenever you ending your row you have to check if it's in inside the head or outside then you just have to follow then make one double crochet frontward into the double crochet of row 10 then we have to alternate the frontward and backward as we go around and for this row we should have a total of 96 stitches For this uh, stitches, it's something similar with a front post double crochet, but the only thing is we don't have to crochet together the two uh, color. We'll just have to crochet it like in backward, then frontward, just alternating these two pattern. Okay. So just continue this pattern until you reach a total of 3 inches or 3.5 inches so it will totally up to you on how long you want it to be.
So for this one, you should have a total of 3 inches or 3.5 inches. It's totally up to you on how long you want your head to be. For the last part of our head, we have to count the rows separately. Row 1, chain 3, 1 single crochet into the double crochet, uh, and chain two then one top uh, one single crochet in the previous double crochet and for this round or row we should have a total of 96 stitches okay So now we're at row 2, repeat row 1 with the main color yarn. Now we're at row 3, the chain 1, single crochet into the same stitch, then 2 single crochet into the chain space, then single crochet into the previous double crochet. So for this round, we should have a total of 96 stitches.
so now we're at row 4 so this round is an increase round so we have to make 7 double crochet or let's say 1 double crochet crochet and se in 7 stitches then increase on the 8 stitch so for this row we should have a total of 108 stitches row 5 this row is a non-increase row so we should have a total of 108 stitches So now we're at row six. So for this row, we have uh, we have to increase in eight uh, do, uh, eight double crochet, then increase. And in this row, we should have a total of hundred and twenty stitches. For this row, uh, it's a non-increase row and we should have a total of 120 stitches. This is an increase row so you have to make nine double crochet then one increase so nine double crochet then on the tenth we have to increase make two double crochet and for this row we should have a total of 132 stitches Okay, now we're at our last row. So for this row, it's an increase row. 
so make a single crochet all around Okay, now we have to cut and weave in everything. So now we're at our very very last part of our head. So for this uh, for this one, we have to make a slip stitch into the loop from our previous uh, back loop only, which is on the top of our uh, head. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any question, you can comment down below or you can message me on my Instagram account. I'll put the link down below. Bye! Thank you!